What's happening, you two? Love Swan. Chilling in the studio today. What's going on, man? Ambitious Visions. Silence to Sound Laboratory.com. The Kitchen. You know, what's going on, everybody, man? Hope your Tuesday night's going good. So, tonight's video is going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to give you a tour of my lab. I'm going to give you a tour of the studio. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how I set my lab up to get uh, the best quality sound possible with a uh, low budget. So, let's start things off. The core of it all. So back in the day, I started off with a Roland Phantom S. Love this thing. But, you know, it's more of a trophy. I don't really use it. Now, it's a Phantom G. So this is what I made beats on. But now we've made it a little more advanced. We went ahead and started using it as a MIDI controller. But what is really cool with the Phantom G is you can actually record vocals and all that shit and it comes out awesome. In fact, my soundtrack, Mood Swingy, Memoirs of a Stone Madman, was produced and recorded all in this machine. So just a cool little fun fact about my latest project. But we've definitely upgraded. Got a little bit more toys going on here. And I'll explain what this stack of boxes is. Um, basically, what I do is we're using Logic Pro, and I have a track up here. This is not a, a track with vocals. This is just a beat that I'm working on, and I'll show you some of it here in a bit. But basically, I got bored with the sounds in here, and my homie Goods hooked me up. So, shouts out to Goods, and, and yeah, man, he hooked me up. They make dope beats too, two dope boys, check them out. So anyways, you gotta go and, and change up some settings in here in order to use it as a MIDI controller for here. Alright? Now that's just for beats. Now let's get on the complicated part. Even though there's a lot of complications, like if you really look closely, there's a lot of stuff going on here, and then in here. And then, like, you know, you have all your different stuff. But anyways, that's a whole other video that I might do. It's getting kind of long now. Anyway, so you make your beat in here. Well, you play this to this. I'm not going to show you that. Most of you already know how to do that. Now, vocal-wise, a lot of people just normally get their microphone, which let's show you the microphone. Oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't get to show you anything. Here's the guitars. Let's do the tour. So when you're doing your vocals, you're gonna come here through this little back area. It's kind of dark. I don't have any light on this phone. But yeah, there's the microphone, and there's foam and stuff, and I just got a box. I put it up, and it kills the sound off. But the key is from the microphone, it comes over here into the mixer, and the mixer then comes here to the vocal processor, which goes back to the mixer, which then goes via USB into here. Now what the vocal processor does, is you can use it for different effects if you want to do it live. I really only use the compression factor to kind of clean up the, the air and get rid of some of the background noise and whatnot. Then I come in here, and then there's a bunch of shit you can do in here. We use Ozone 6, for mastering, it's been really awesome. Um, so the project coming out next year in January is actually all done in Logic completely. Vocals, beat, everything. You know, so there's a lot of cool shit coming out. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to show you how we do it. Now let me go ahead and stop this record real quick. And then uh, we'll go ahead and show you this beat. Ready? Oh, yeah. So it's pretty cool. By the way, if you want to check out some beats, go to silence to sound laboratory.com. I haven't loaded up a lot of new ones yet. I'm 
gonna fast forward to my favorite part. I can't hear all of it though, because that's for a project that I haven't even discussed yet. And the project coming out in January is not that one. That one's coming out whenever I finish it. Anyways, so yeah, man, I'm just kicking it here. I got some records. Can't really see, it's all dark. And then I got my lab and all that. I'm not doing no work in here tonight. Kind of tired. Oh, yeah, and then my grafting table. I'm gonna start getting back into doing more visual design. There's some stuff I'm working on. You'll see that on something soon. There's my party wife and her wedding day. And yeah, man. Oh yeah. Since we're here, I'm growing some stuff. I do all kinds of shit, you guys. The man, the myth, the legend. So this is some basil. And this is some dark opal basil that's not opal. But you know it's it's doing its thing. We got some spinach. It's doing its thing. This shit was just barely planted on the first, and today is the seventeenth. So this shit is sixteen days old. So you know maybe we'll update these later on a different video. Word up, you guys. So just wanted to show you my studio. Silence to Sound Laboratories, where it goes down, we make beats. If you ever want a beat, hit me up. I got tons of them on my website, silence to sound and you can actually just buy it right there, and it's yours exclusively for only 50 bucks. Anyways, um, yeah, man, we're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff. We're gonna get t shirts made pretty soon. I got the book out, and then the soundtracks on iTunes and everything. I'll post some links at the bottom. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. For real, man, because that's why I do this. It's because you guys keep showing me love. And I love it, and it's fun. And it's pretty cool that people show you love when you have fun. So yeah, man. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Lumps One. Ambitious Visions. Silence of Sound Laboratory.com. And The Kitchen. We keep it busy. Peace out. Have a good night.